I, I don't know. I was just like, you know, I was kind of like looking at these uh, pictures and stuff from the stills from the shoot of the last movie. I was like, man, I'm just don't, I'm not happy with the way I look in the pictures, you know. So it's personal vanity is a big issue here. The other thing is that as I was working on the film, I was just getting, I was like crashing, like at 5, 4 o'clock, you know, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, I would just crash. And I was out of energy and just sort of cranky and I wasn't fun to be around. So on the next film, we're making another film, it's called Get Better, and I want to get better. I mean, the film itself has to do with uh, health and, and, uh, and sickness. Um, so I don't want to be sick, and I want to be healthy. He's got a movie coming up that he's, he wants to be physically prepared for, and he doesn't really know what to do. He needs the most information in the shortest period of time. He's got about 12 weeks to get himself ready, and he wants to not just visibly look different, but he wants to have the energy to get through those 16-hour shoots that the, the show business industry is infamous for. We've just started with him, and he's not what you would call morbidly obese or even obese. He's just essentially your typical 30 to 40 pound overweight male, you know, almost in a midlife crisis. He's gonna kill me for saying that. But basically, he's at about 27% body fat right now. And um, he doesn't have any health issues, so the good news is we can really push him as hard you know, as, as we want to, probably a little harder than he wants to be. But at the same time, we're gonna be very careful not you know, risking injury or anything like that. We're just gonna make sure that he's staying on point. The company I work for, K180 Fitness, they're about more than just implementing the mechanics of getting yourself in shape. It's about addressing the behaviors and the knowledge gaps that got you where you didn't want to be in the first place. The biggest challenges for him are going to be the same biggest challenges that you're going to have for everybody and that's the nutrition plan. It's not just bullet points on paper, you've got to learn how to make that work for your life in a way that's sustainable. Because I'm not the kind of trainer who wants you to just lose weight and then six months later you jump back up and you come back to me because you didn't learn anything, you just implemented a series of bullet points. I want him to understand that this is an education process that he's going to have to sustain long term as well. I do know somebody that lost a lot of weight eating jelly beans with them. And I'm assuming that those aren't going to be on the plan, but I will probably ask him at some point if we can get to the jelly bean. You do know that pigs like go to the bathroom in the same place that they eat, right? They're not the cleanest animal in the world. Look, we, we just had a, a, I had a pork loin, and we had thought it, we had to eat it. I mean, we were going to throw it away. I had to. You just wanted to make sure that it wasn't going to like go to waste. Or he didn't go to W A S T E. It just went to W A I S T. <laughs> There's a, there's a principle that basically states that 20% of your efforts put in the right areas are going to yield you 80% of the results. Let's take the entire game plan as a whole and cut it into two pieces, nutrition and exercise. Well, in that pie, the 20% that you focus on that's going to yield you that 80% is the nutrition. We're going to give him a very comprehensive nutritional education. If we take the other component, which is the exercise, there's an 80-20 rule that really applies to that as well. And that's this. 80% of your results come from resistance training. To be perfectly honest with you, everybody does what they want to do. Now, given the components and the pieces of the puzzle that are being put together, I think he will be completely compliant with the program, and I think that we're really going to be able to get the results he's looking for, because I've noticed that nothing tends to motivate somebody more than seeing how nasty they look on camera. Ah, workout's over. I'm feeling it. I feel the pain. I feel the burn. I've got 12 more weeks. Uh, 12 more weeks. Chris did pretty good for his first workout. You can kind of tell he's an actor and that he's got a little bit of body discipline because his technique was pretty good. He's fairly well coordinated, so the learning curve is going to be pretty short there. He really got to work on his mean face, though. I don't think he's worked that physically hard in a long time, so we really got to generate a little bit more intensity. But he's getting there. I mean, it's a first workout, so hey, did, did fairly well. I, I'm very optimistic.